This is MJ. I'm an author, I'm an artist, I'm an analyzer. Find all my work at mjmunoz.com. Visit the podcast page for show notes and links. Remember to like, share, and comment to help me grow. Henshin Inspection presents Going Ultra, episode 33, To Save Lives. I'm analyzing Ultraman Z episode 20, To Care and What Lies Beyond. It originally aired November 14, 2020. The writer is Yuji Kobayashi. The director is Maya, no, Masayoshi Takesue. There we go. What was ultra bad this episode? Bako seemed like a jerk with all his reticence to be around Ruri, his daughter, at first. That was really weird, especially with how things went at the end. What was ultra cool this episode? The dance sequence was a barrel of laughs, and I enjoyed all their stall tactics. Uh, Beta Smash is way more powerful than either of the mecha, uh, and that's a fun detail to see. I really loved him trouncing uh, M1. That was, well, like I said, it was cool to see. The ultra good thing this episode was uh, the making the idea of making the serum to revert M1. Uh, it was really nice, especially in light of how broody the show's been lately. Uh, I like that they can do something positive. They can do something other than just kill and destroy the monsters. And, uh, you know, obviously that was a big, you know, plot point or, or like, you know, the central theme to this episode. Um, and it's just, it's nice to see. I like it. So, uh, the ultra deep thing in this episode was that, uh, the, the quote, the line, uh, the idea that we're fighting to save lives, uh, that being the focus of, the, of, uh, the episode, this episode, uh, it feels like it's also kind of the theme of this series or the point of the series and, or I'm sorry, the season of Ultraman Z and maybe Ultraman as a whole. I don't know. Um, it's, it's good and sweet and, uh, I, I really dig it. So, uh, I've got an ultra question for you. Did Baco's behavior throw you off? Did it uh, make sense why he, uh, seemed to, uh, so put off by Ruri in the beginning? Um, like I couldn't tell if he was nervous, if he didn't want to be with her, if he didn't like her, or what was going on. So that was all very strange to me. Uh, despite that, though, I'm going to still rank this episode uh, 4 out of 5. Uh, Ultraman Z episode 20, to care and what lies beyond, was a lot of fun. The bits of serious fighting were cool. The funny parts made me laugh, and it was enjoyable all the way through. The focus being to save lives is so good, like I said earlier, and it warms me to see it dealt with, especially because it would have been uh, <laughs> it would have been way easier to just kill M1, uh, but they took a higher, harder route. And I like that. That's, you know, that's kind of easier. Or that's not easier. That's the heroic thing to do is to do the more difficult thing that costs you more um, because it would be easier just to destroy and kill and, uh, you know, wipe everybody out and then you're the only one left. But, you know, is that just? Obviously it's not. Uh, and that's just an extreme example um, of going the other way. But that's uh, that's pretty much all I have for this episode. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. It was good. It was simple. And uh, it was good stuff. And... Uh, being episode 21 uh, or being that this is episode 20 I believe the series proper is only 26 episodes total so that's that'd be 7 right 21 two, three, four, five, five, six. so that is just 6 episodes left of the series and I think this is a good way to kind of cool down and give some breathing room before they get into whatever's coming next and I'm pretty much ready for that so I'm uh, I'm pretty excited thank you for your time and attention I hope you enjoyed this Check out my growing collections of analysis, art, and fiction. You can visit mjmunoz.com support to check out my latest designs and more. I welcome critique to improve my craft, so don't hold back any comments you have for me. I leave you with peace and blessings. This is MJ, signing out.